Welcome to my 100 text effect series. Episode 6. Today I am going to show you a very realistic gold text effect in Photoshop I just learned. First, you can get yourself a black background image and create a text. The color doesn't matter, but you should make it bigger because more details in this text effect need to be displayed better with larger text. Then, double-click the layer to create a bevel and emboss layer style. Use inner bevel style, a little bit size with depth around 600. Just enough to get you a very basic bevel look around the corner. Then put this text layer into a group using Option plus G or Control G. After that, go to the Layers panel and create a gradient fill. This gradient fill should be white to black with 100% opacity. Go back to the Layers panel, put the mouse between the gradient fill and text group, hold Option or Control, then click you should be able to create a clip mask. Then change the gradient layer blend mode to overlay. And you can lower down the opacity a bit in case it's too strong. Next step is the most important for this gold text effect. You will have to create a gradient map adjustment layer. Hold option or control and click between gradient map and gradient fill. Create the clip mask again. Then let's start working on this gradient map adjustment layer. What it does is mapping all the colors between most bright to most dark with a gradient. So you will need to simulate a gold gradient color. Some white, yellow, and brown. Keep watching the preview of the text. Take your time. You can see your gold text effect or start to shape. Then go back to the text layer. Double click to add an inner shadow layer style. Change the distance and choke to zero. And slide the size slider around. Now your text is getting some details around the corner. Find a sweet point that looks realistic the most. To get more details for this gold text effect, you need one more stroke layer style. Set the position to inside, and the size should be the same as bevel and emboss, which in my case is 30. For the fill type, switch it to gradient and use the same gradient that you used before. Check the overprint and again slide the opacity slider around to find a sweet point for the most realistic look. Now your gold text effect is getting better. The problem is that it's too smooth and perfect. It's better to get a randomly uneven texture. You can create a new layer at the top and go to the top menu, find filter, render, and cloud. Then again find blur and use Gaussian blur a little bit. Create a clip mask in the layer panel and put this layer between the gradient map and the gradient fill. When you start to lower down the opacity, you will find this layer is affecting the surface and edge of your text. My sweet point is around 10%. You can see this can create an uneven surface and edge for the text. Finally, find a texture image, put it between the gradient map. Give it an opacity around 10%. Now you can call this a realistic gold text effect. All the layers above the text group are for the texture and color. All the text layers in this text group are still alive at this moment. You can change the typeface. Even creating more text layers in this group will also get this gold texture effect. I am not sure you see the thumbnail or read the title of this video. Now, please allow me to show off my weird sense of humor. A gold text underwear, definitely a badass design. Leave a comment if you see any style close to this. I'll buy it. If you like, I put the source PSD file for you in the description. Let me know if you need any more details about this. I'll be glad to help. This is one of my 100 text effects series. 99 more videos and free PSD files are coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. Stay turned. I'll keep creating.